Hi everyone, my name is Arielle and welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited about today's episode because we're doing a vlog. It's been a little while since I've done a vlog. Actually, it's been since I finished the PCT. Partially because life settling back into home is probably not that interesting to watch as a vlog, you know, like trying to get back to work and school and all those things. But also because I just had so many questions from all of you that I wanted to cover in some videos and things like that. So. Regardless, I'm super excited to take you guys along for another adventure because I know these are your favorite uh, types of videos to watch or these adventure vlogs. So this week's adventure is actually not this week's adventure. Currently I'm in Australia, but I wanna take you guys on a little time travel adventure today and jump back into what I was doing the last couple of weeks. So before Sam and I popped over to Australia, we're here to visit family, and I will show you some of the adventures we're having here. We started in New Zealand, and originally the plan was to spend 10 days, I was hosting like a group mostly hiking, but like adventure retreat. And then we decided, well, if we're gonna go halfway around the world, we might as well stay over there for a couple more days and do some stuff on our own, and then come over here and see family that we haven't seen in forever. So today's episode is gonna be all about the adventures that we took on that group trip, which was absolutely incredible. Like I said, it was mostly hiking, but we also did some like other crazy stuff that I, like had never done before, like canyoning, and we took a helicopter ride, and we even went on a boat and checked out some dolphins. So while I was out on that adventure, I definitely took the camera to film everything, but I didn't take the time to talk to the camera because I wanted to be present with everyone on the trip. So anyways, to sit, get you guys like set up for what's happening in this vlog, I'm gonna pop in periodically as future Ariel to explain what the heck was happening in these vlogs. So first things first, we started in Christchurch and we drove over to an area called Akaroa and we took a boat out to see the dolphins that are like super small, I think they're called Hector dolphins, and we got to see so many of them, but not only did we get to see dolphins, the water was just this incredible color, which is a theme you'll see throughout these videos. So anyways, Enough of me talking. Let me show you our first day's adventure. Okay, but seriously, how cool is that? Something I really love about these like group trips with itineraries is we often do activities that I may not do if I were traveling on my own or I wouldn't even consider. And they often end up being some of my favorite experiences. So it's like if I was going to New Zealand like on my own, I don't know if I would think to book like this boat to go check out the dolphins. And it was so incredible. And I'm just so grateful that we got a chance to do that and to see them because they're so cute. So the later part of what you saw was the road trip we took. So basically Basically, this adventure is a big loop around um, kind of like half of the South Island of New Zealand. The South Island of New Zealand is where like all of the magical mountains are and I've been four times and it never gets old and the really cool thing about this trip and this itinerary that we had is that almost every single thing we did I had never done before. So next after we left um, the dolphins, we went to an area called Lake Tekapo, which again, the water was just incredible. There's mountains, we took a hike there. There's also like a hot springs there, like a natural hot springs, which was really cool. And then we jumped back in the bus the next day and made our way to Mount Cook National Park. And even though we had some interesting weather, 
this was one of the most spectacular hikes like I've maybe ever done. And the cool thing about it is it's like kind of mellow. Like it's about seven miles round trip, but elevation gain is very little. It's like a fairly flat walking track and you just get to be surrounded by epicness. So instead of me continuing to talk about it, let me just show you how incredible this hike was. National Park, we made our way towards Queenstown, which is somewhere I've spent quite a lot of time. It's kind of known as the adrenaline junkie hub of New Zealand, is what I'm gonna say. Like, it's the place where you go do the bungee, the skydiving, the shot over jets, like all these sorts of things. And I've actually done a handful of those things over the years. Like, I've done the big bungee over there, I've done skydiving there, I've done the shot over jet. Um, but something I had never done, or actually, to be honest, ever even really heard of, was canyoning. And that's what we did this time around. And I gotta be honest, like, I do a lot of higher adrenaline stuff. And I found it like very intimidating. There's something about like the power of like running, rushing water that's just like a little bit overwhelming, <laughs> you know? Like at least with like climbing, I feel like my fate is somewhat in my own hands. But like when there's just this mass of water rushing by you, it feels like pretty intense. So anyways, again, before I just like talk about it, let me show you this experience because this, I think for most people was like one of the main highlights of this adventure.
After canyoning in Queenstown, we made our way over to the West Coast and we really just took our time with the drive. Something I really liked about how we did this adventure or this road trip is it wasn't just like drive from point A to point B. It was like drive from point A to point B and stop at as many things along the way as you can to just experience the land and like see more beauty and like mostly see as much magical turquoise water as possible because that's really just like I feel like almost everywhere we went just had this incredible colored water so we stopped a few places on the way which I'll show you on the screen and we made our way to Franz Joseph which is this like super cute small town and it totally reminds me of like being in Jurassic Park or something like that but then above you are these like giant mountains with glaciers like it's such an interesting mix of like rainforest and then like mountains and snow and ice um, it's like actually very hard to explain when you're there it's just like so incredible and this was somewhere I never been before and we got to do something that to me was the highlight of the trip and that was to do a helicopter to hike on the glacier which was kind of a surprise it like in the itinerary it was just to go you know hiking and check out the glacier but we uh surprised the group with the adventure on the helicopter and i don't think i've actually ever been in a helicopter but after doing it once i was like oh my gosh anytime any way that i can find a way to make this happen again i need to so we took this incredible helicopter ride and then we adventured around on the ice for a while before coming back down into town so let me show you that adventure <laughs> So after Franz Joseph, we had to make our way back to Christchurch to get everyone back in time to make their flights. Uh, but just like before, we really like made the driving part really cool and stopped as much as possible along the way. We went back over Arthur's Pass so we could make a big loop around. And the great thing about that is you go through Arthur's Pass National Park and the scenery is just absolutely incredible. So let me show you just the last little bit of our adventure making our way back to Christchurch. Hold on to me if you need somebody if you need somebody, somebody who's not gonna leave you Stay close to me if you want somebody If you want somebody, I would love to be the body you want 
I don't know if any of you are planning a trip to the South Island of New Zealand in the close or distant future, but if you are, I hope this gives you some inspiration for a potential road trip idea because this loop was an awesome way to see so much of the South Island, get to do so many hikes, see so much scenery, and we took about eight days to make it happen. Whoa, the sun just got so hot. <laughs> but we took about eight days to make it happen and um, and it was really great but you could totally slow this down and see even more or like add on a stretch to go see Milford Sound or anything like that but yes yeah, such an incredible adventure and I'm so glad that I got to see and do so many new things um, that I hadn't seen or done before on any of my other trips such a great trip. Anyways, that's all I have for you this week. Next week, I'll take you along for the adventure of Sam and I's road trip in the van that we rented in New Zealand and then over here in New Ze er, over here in Australia for what we're doing over here. So anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you liked this week's episode. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. See you next Sunday.